Hello and welcome back to Let's Try We're Trying Inkbound. I've been really looking forward to this game because this is by the devs of Monster Train. Monster Train is basically my favorite deck builder of all time. I've put a far more hours into that than any other deck builder combined, maybe even. Like, I'm not even kidding. I probably more than, like, definitely more than Slay the Spire, but also um, just, just a, a lot more. <laughs> like, I love that game a lot. And so I've I've been just looking forward to anything that uh, the, the devs of that game make, um, whatever they want to do, I'm on board. So this is Inkbound. I think it already has a really cool kind of original um, art style. So this is the playtest, and this is an early version of the game. So let's not let that completely reflect um, our opinion, our opinion of it um, just yet. Uh, things are going to be subject to change. We might run into some bugs, but uh, either way, I'm very excited to jump into this. Enter character name, and I am going to be playing this blind. I want to kind of go through the tutorial with you so I can uh, figure out uh, how, how to play it with you. Oh, character customization, magma miner. Can you stand the heat, swing your hammer to build up bonus damage, but don't stop, let lest risk cooling down. Moss cloak, dash around the battlefield, seeking your enemy's weakness, then unleash moss cloak's shuriken in a deadly fl flurry. And then the weaver, an artisan with this power to spin magical threads, control the battlefield and let combat become your work of art. Well, uh, you guys, you all know how I like to do this. Uh, generally speaking, I like to go with something simple to learn the game and then uh, maybe uh, try something a bit more complex later. So we could, we can like, oh, wow. Okay, I was not expecting this. I'm not gonna waste too much time on it. That looks nice. I like that. Restore 10 HP. Venture further into the sea of ink. Here's our first combat, maybe? I thought this game was turn-based, I won't lie. So, all right. Mm, oh, is it turn-based? It, it may be that it is turn-based, but we have like real-time movement in a way, like we can, hmm. Grants will power will per orb will and reduces cooldowns by cooldown per orb. Um, I'll just pretend as if I know what that means. Do we have a certain? I think we have as like a certain amount of. Oh, I see. We're using up our our action points. So we have a certain amount of action points, and much like in um, your kind of deck builder. Um, we're using those up every time we use some kind of ability. Leap a long distance and deal 36 damage. So we could have used this instead of walking. Okay, I'm learning. I can't move out of the way now. So they have a certain, like, movement. So what does this do? Deal 150 damage to a single enemy. I was hoping it would be like an area of effect. Oh, this is an area of effect, though. So we could use this and go like, blam. Okay. I, I believe I saw someone say on Twitter that this is basically a turn-based MOBA, which is an interesting idea. I haven't actually seen that done too often. Well, I mean, like, you could kind of say that auto chess is that in a way, but um, I don't know if that would be necessarily accurate. But um, yeah, this, this seems really cool so far. You, needless. Looks like you're not dead yet, so that's a good sign. Or not. All right. Oh, we do we do just be continue. Okay. I thought they were gonna like put me in a new zone or something. Oh. Must see my reaction is to like run away, since they've given me like a kind of real time movement. Um, but uh, that is actually not correct. I'm wondering if there's like an undo button. Um, is there a way to check someone's like health? Oh god, that was not the move. I'm not used to this. I wonder if I like go. Oh, okay. So if you go to your starting location, it'll actually give you all your health back, or your uh, your energy back. Okay. Um, we can do 30 damage to each of these. These are these got 40 health each. 
Oh, I see. This guy is a boss and he has 300 health. So, um, if I do this here, smash, what I could do is do like a leap to get myself a little bit forward and then, um, a smash. I don't know if that was what I wanted. Uh, is that in fact did no damage. Okay. All right. Well, you know, I'm learning. Um, kind of want to get myself away. Uh, that was not a movement. <laughs> Yo, I'm, I'm really bad at this. Okay, we're going to take some damage. That's fine. Um, so these have a cooldown. So I'm going to have to move towards here. I'm going to move towards this. Pick it up. And I'll do some damage from behind. That actually moves him. That, that rotates him around. That's interesting. Okay, so what we want to do is use our, our basic ability a couple of times and then just like move through him. And hopefully that means that we won't take that damage. We'll take a couple of hits from these guys, but that's not a big deal. Okay, we're going to do another one of these stomps to get rid of the rest of these lads. And we'll do, hopefully we'll do an actual 180 this, this time. That will kill him. Nice. Victory. I won't uh, read any, uh, <laughs> gain any ego from that. That was like really, really bad. Um, Argoloth, run quest. Reduce will cost of abilities. Fully upgrade two bindings. The sea of ink elapsed uh, against the straight edge blocks you walk along. You're back again. But it's not quite the same sea, is it? You can make out the edges of stories just beyond the horizon. No, there's intent in form here. Visit the carver. Fully upgrade two bindings. Reduce will cost of abilities. I see. So we're picking an upgrade. Let's reduce our cost. Binding draft. Draft a binding. Um, so these are a new ability I can choose. Invigorate. Gain a buff which grants 10 ability power for your next ability. Plus 10 ability power. Remove one stack each time you use a binding. Um... Okay, I wonder if a stack, if that's plus 10 stacks, or if one stack is 10 ability power. Uh, deal 25 to a single enemy. Damage spreads to nearby enemies. Inflict shocked. That sounds like fun. Let's do that one. I like, I like, uh, chain attacks. We have a book we can pick. The Vengewood. Blighted branches and blackened bogs drag travelers into the dark embrace of the... Okay, so these are, these are levels. The Radiant Market, remains of the market's first thaw festival, that terrorized by evils lurking in the depths. And then the Garden's Edge, the once lush respite of a recluse now overrun with unraveled. Let's try that. Let's try Garden's Edge. I I gotta say I really do like the uh, the visual flair of this one. This this game's got got a got a really nice execution. Underneath the brush, you can make out the remnants of a once well manic manicured cured garden. Sorry, that's been lost to time and neglect. The overgrown forest that towers over you now retains some of that stillness, but none of the peace. Only danger and hostility. So we now pick a uh, combat tarnished vault quilling cage. I see we're picking a battle, but we're not picking what we're battling. We're picking the rewards tarnished vault potion cache. Let's do a quilling cage. Yeah, I, I really like the look of this. Um, you know, for for like an indie game, the graphical fidelity of this is like really top notch. Um, yeah, no, no, not not much more to say on that, to be honest. What is this? Oh, we can gain some stuff by interacting with the environment. All right, combat start. Let's try our new ability if we can. Oh, we got a, a pot, a pot fellow. Um, so this guy's gonna be doing a charge attack. What we could do is we could jump over to him and um, do a bit of damage and then collect that orb. Grab that orb so we have more damage. Uh, when sh a shock unit is hit, all other shock units take equal amount of damage. 
damage spreads to nearby enemies and inflicts shocked. I'm not sure if now is the right time to do that. So I'm just going to hit them with smash. I think this will reach them. Yes, it will. Ah, but they changed their direction. So I'm going to take um, two action points to move out of the way. That only took one. So I might actually move back and then I'll do a regular attack and then move out of the way. This is the kind of game you're going to get used to how far your movement gets you. Oh, so we have uh, a closing circle, kind of like a almost like a battle royale. <laughs> um, we should be able to kill him on this turn, but I'm, I'm curious. Uh, I want to do this chain lightning now. Uh, we so we, OK, we so we, we do see how far it goes. It looks like they're both highlighted, so I think this will work. Yes. And now, hopefully, when I do damage to this guy, I should be doing damage to both of them. I don't think I even have to move. Yes. So that um, that shocked status is really nice. Um, except when I do damage, the shocked is gone. So um, this is the kind of thing you want to combo with a big move. So I want to use my chain lightning with like my smash. Um, good to know. I don't know what he's going to do. It looks like he's not doing anything. So we're just going to keep hitting him and we'll see what happens. Oh, he did a big move and there's no way to avoid that. So we've got some uh, spooky stuff coming up. I don't know what happened to the other enemy. I think they died. We should be able to kill this guy. Um, I don't know what's happening. Reduce will cost of abilities 0 to 18. Survive a battle against the unraveled. So what are we doing with these? Um, couldn't tell you. Couldn't tell you what's going on right now. So the, the we're spawning a bunch of enemies. A, I wonder if, like, I know it showed me that there were enemies going to be spawning, but I have to wonder, um, how how long is this combat going to be? Uh, we're going to jump over here and maybe do some damage against these fellows. This would be a great opportunity for that chain attack. So I'm not going to use up my, um, I'm not going to use up my, my, uh, smash because I definitely want to use the smash when it's available. So do that. And I'm going to walk over here, grab this power orb and then walk over a little bit more. So make them come to me. Classic strategy. Uh, I still don't have my electricity. It really does, um, take a while to, to come back. But we should be able to kill most of these guys. I do appreciate that it shows you when enemies are highlighted. The game kind of reminds me of like a lot of um, like the more, I don't know how to put it, like positional tactics games like Warhammer. Um, maybe they're kind of going more for a Warhammer than a MOBA. Quilling Cage. So what does this do for us? Gives us a bunch of stuff. Tarnished Vault. Inflict one stack of Frostbite to a random enemy each turn. Um, additional Frostbite. Whenever this unit is hit with a binding, deal 10 magic damage per stack. Remove half stacks per turn. Okay, so Frostbite is just a way of doing extra damage. Unearthed Relic. When you gain shield, gain plus one ability power until the end of your turn. Our training weights. Um, Damage from physical source deals plus 10% damage per point or crit ch and crit chance uh, Chance to get a critical hit with a direct attack. This works for physical power. So, um, I think that's actually most of my attacks save for our chain lightning. So I think I will take this That's nice. And then we also have a font of wisdom Ah, and this is going to give us another benefit Max health magic power. I like this physical power. Let's Let's go hard on physical power and grab some more stuff. I like the, uh, you know, interacting with the uh, environment is a nice little touch. Gain a free binding upgrade and the capability um, to ascend another. From within the ruins, you sense ancient knowledge. I like the idea. Let's get another binding. So this requires 400 quillings. Um, which I do not have. Uncommon Augment. 
inflict stun. Is this a physical attack? Shatter, plus 50% physical damage until end of turn. Inflict shatter once per turn. Um, inflict three stacks of burn. Let's do this shattering bonk since it's another physical attack. Oh, I see. We've just, uh, we upgraded our bonk. So now it's, I don't know if I think, I, I think maybe we upgraded its damage, but also we're going to be inflicting shatter. Um, I wonder, is there any way I can like look at what that means? Oh, maybe this button. Uh, details. Well, that's not going to tell me what shattering does. These let me do emotes. I'm very curious about the, this like planned MMO-ish feature. Uh, I'm like cautiously optimistic about it. I, I know for sure my, you know, the, the Monster Train devs wouldn't do anything without um, like intention. Like they, Monster Train as a game was like, everything about it is very um, carefully planned. So I am very interested to see what they're, what they're doing with this multiplayer aspect. Tarnish Vault, Vault and a, uh, Potion cash. Let's do that because since I can't afford these quilling uh, cages, maybe Let's try this uh, potion vault business Okay This guy's gonna be charging us we could do our chain. Oh that yeah, that's gonna get everyone at once perfect and then I actually, I want to move over to him and then do a smash. And that'll kill absolutely everything. And there it is. There's that, that dopamine hit I love so much in uh, these kind of games. That's, that's, I, I love the kind of combo. One, two combo is really good. Um, leap a long distance and deal damage. The problem is I'm kind of worried that if I do that, it's going to change their direction. So I think instead I'm just going to move out of the way. So he's going to do an attack that I basically cannot avoid. So let's just try and hit them as hard as possible. Should be able to kill them. Uh, probably not, actually. Well, we can do a shattering bonk. I don't know what that does. I don't know what shatter does. Plus 50% physical damage until end of turn. Oh, yeah, this is going to be great. Yeah, that's, that's a kill right there. And, um... We can collect this, I don't know. Grant will power will per orb. Will and reduces cooldowns by cooldown. I don't I don't know what this means, I have to be honest. I have no idea what any of that means. Um, explore the worlds of Inkwell as far as you can. Reduce will cost of abilities. I, I have to think that um like maybe this is a side quest. But I don't know. So, what are we going to do? Um, once per turn, inflict shatter. Our leaping strike is on cooldown. I think I'm just going to move out of the way and hit some of these smaller lads. Oh, interesting. Okay. So, his move was uh, like... It wasn't like I, I didn't get a full turn before he get to, got to use his, his uh, move. It might be that I've what I've been um, like understanding is like them reacting to my attacks is actually them getting turns. They get turns between turns kind of, um, which is interesting. OK, we're going to kill this lad. I'm, I'm a little bit concerned about what's we're actually taking, we're going to be taking some damage here. I have to assume that's from him. We're taking three damage. Let's uh, grab some of these just so we can move over to him. Um, this is our chance to kind of do some extra damage to them. We don't get to inflict shatter. We'll be able to inflict shatter on the next turn though. And I think we could do a shatter and smash and that should actually like kill them. So there's our shatter and then we'll do a smash wabam very nice so here's our potion cache let's have a look at our font of wisdom magic power match max hp more physical power oh, yeah, we're gonna go hard on that physical power potion cache we get a potion of power uh, this is a left click 
Left click consume, gain five ability power until the end of turn can only be used in combat. Right click to view detailed information. That's more or less the exact same information. Um, gain plus one max HP and heal three HP after every combat. This is nice. I just recently, um, I'm not going to throw another game under the bus, but you know, I, I was recently talking about games that, um, your, your, your benefits, your powers, your rewards, um, will like when they come with, uh, like a detractor, when they come with a, a, a massive kind of like negative effect, kind of undercut the, the, uh, you know, the dopamine effect of like, you know, take getting rewards being rewarded for your for overcoming challenges i so far i really appreciate how how like not just like rewarding the rewards are in this game i know that's redundant but uh, bear with me but also like how semi game changing each uh, all of these rewards are like they they are in themselves almost play styles um that's the way to do it you know uh, offer me the carrot not the stick when it comes to uh, you know, how how you uh, incentivize player strategy. Uh, inflict one stack of frostbite to random enemy each turn. When you take damage from an enemy, inflict two stacks of burn. Um, I assume burn a deal 10 damage per stack, removes one stack at the end of turn. I kind of like this, you know, I could do with a little bit of survivability, I think. So I'm going to grab that um, health. Is there an extra little environmental to in interact with? Doesn't look like it. So we've got three things here. A respite from the unraveled. Um, this patch of peace is home to the gardener. A rift in the story creates an opportunity for you to make a powerful choice. From within the ruins, you sense ancient knowledge. I kind of like the sea breach. Let's try that. I do appreciate that things are obvious when you can interact with them. I could still potentially miss something, but here's our sea breach. Through the sea, you peek upon two young and vaguely familiar binders arguing over the best way to achieve the binding they have been tasked to perform. One for brevity and one for specificity. In front of them, the unfortunate target of their practice. Do you take a side in their argument? Be brief. Random uncommon augments for two bindings. I'm not sure I understand the terminology in this game or the nomenclature. It's a, it's a little bit confusing what things mean, but I'm sure over time I would be able to understand. Meet in the middle, one random rare augment. Um, two, or be as detailed and precise as possible. Two random uncommon augments for a binding. Let's go for one rare augment. Uh, I do kind of wish we could turn off chat like immediately other settings whip um that's pretty good these options are very obviously not complete yet and that is fine target frame rate i would really like it to, so that you could um basically turn this off completely general local let's see if that works I do not trust the internet, and I do not trust people on the internet, and that is a good rule. Uncommon augment potion cash. Tarnished vault potion cash. Tarnished vault. Let's do it. Could definitely use with uh, use some health. I'm getting getting down to the the, the nib, as it were. <laughs> ho, ho, ho. <laughs> okay, we definitely want to try and chain lightning as much as possible here. But uh, I don't want that to be like the only thing that I know how to do. So I don't know. We could we can try and smack these guys for a nice chunk of damage. Maybe we can kill these guys and wait for the other lad. Uh, you know the problem is I don't. I wish I could undo that actually, because the thing is is that it would be better if I do did a bonk first before I did something like that. We want to move a little bit um, so that we can hit both of these guys. We should be able to kill them. So we weren't punished for our bad play, but all the same, it was still bad play. So this guy got to do something before the end of my turn. Um, kind of wish I knew like when the, those kind of things were going to happen. Global healer heals all other enemies units when using opportunity. Um, would be really nice is if I could chain lightning all of, all of these lads.
Okay, I mean... It's not really what I want, and in fact, there's two of these guys now. These guys uh, are doing, like, global attacks, I just realized. Um, so maybe I need to focus a little bit more on, like, hitting these guys. This guy's gonna do delayed attack, removes a stack each time a player uses a binding. Once all stacks are removed, executes their attack. Oh, I see. I see. Okay, and this guy is gonna do an area of effect attack that's fairly large. So, okay, I'm, I'm gaining a bit of under understanding this now. Let's go ahead and um, see if we can't kill these guys. We are taking damage by being in this ink, inky business, so not necessarily a great idea. This guy is going to perform an attack, and it, it looks like it is going to be the entire battlefield. Um, I'm a little bit concerned. Okay, so if you end your turn before he gets to execute it, then he doesn't get to execute it. Interesting. Oh, I really like this. I really like this so far. Um, I would like to do this chain lightning. Oh, I didn't have enough for both. Um, okay, I'm just gonna have to contend with this. I did stun him. Stunned enemies won't attack on their turn. This guy is gonna has a delayed attack, so therefore I don't take any damage since I'm ending my turn early. Um, and I should be able to kill both of these guys if I'm if I play smart. Yes Let's do that. We can kill them both grab that uh, orb. So that means we um, Basically got to do that for free Let's See uh, what we can get away with this is the kind of the game you're gonna want to like really exploit your movement uh, Look kind of yeah, I think if I do this It'll kill him. And then we can kill this last lad. All right. So I am learning 300 SP, whatever that means. Plus six poison damage. Extra crit chance. I generally don't go for crit chance, but I since I already got some crit chance, it wouldn't be such a terrible idea to take some crit chance. Grab another potion. Flask of Serendipity. Left click consume grant one cost discount to all bindings can only be used in combat and We grab our tarnished vault at the start of each turn You have a 35% chance to gain a ability power until the end of the turn um, at the start of each turn you have a 35% chance to gain an additional will um, When you take damage, I, I, I'm probably never gonna take this because I, I, I don't want to like I don't know. I kind of want to re-roll these. Let's try re-rolling them Frozen finger a random binding gets one cooldown reduction at the start of each turn at the start of your turn 50% chance to heal 2 HP. This seems amazing Gain a bit of survival a survivability Grab some more so what's, what's this mercurial elixir? Left click consume reduce the cooldown of all bindings, but the, you can only use this in combat Um Choose a consumable to replace. Let's replace the one on the left. Shucks. Okay, so you do want to use up your potions because you can can potentially find more. Game coolings and the opportunity to use keys for high quality vestiges. I don't know if I have any keys. I'm going to assume I don't. Heal and spend some hard earned quillings. All right, let's do that. Restore 10 HP for 100 quillings. That's like all of my quillings, though. Store of value. Welcome to the Circus of Value. 25% chance to gain one will whenever an enemy dies. That seems very good. When you gain shield, gain an ability power. They really want me to have these burn gauntlets. I like this seat, uh, seat trickle. Let's grab that. I'm sure there's going to be a cool sound effect uh, when you buy things in the future. The Carver. Nice job with those unraveled so far, but you ain't lived until you fought a raven as big as a house. Though you'd probably have a lot more holes in you once you do. The figure looks up at you, but with their face hidden behind a mask, it's hard to tell if they're human or quill. 
Yet you feel their eyes bore into you just the same. You're a shiny new needless, aren't you? Uh, got a quill and everything. But you've got quillings to spare too. We'll, we'll be buying or be moving. This place ain't kind to, to, to idlers. Can you move? You're standing in my light. Okay. Boss battle. Sea of Ink, Rare Augment, Font of Wisdom. I have to wonder how many, like, what, what's the permanency of our, of our progression here? Like, since we have other players, I don't know. The other player thing is like really kind of messing me up a little bit. Like what, what, what's, what's the game plan here? So these guys have, are beefy plus 50% max HP. So they're like champion versions. Um, Nim's protection plus one attack and movement per stack. Um, so I don't know, we could, um, try and, uh, there's not really any point in doing this electricity. I don't know if it like combos attacks. Like if I hit two chain to think two, two things that are like shocked, do they both take like double damage? I wonder, um, let's find out. So if I do, did I shock them all? Okay. Amazing. Ah, oh, I wish I could undo all of that. That was so silly. That was so, so silly. Um, I really wish I could undo all of that because I, I could have, uh, I could have, um, done my shattering bonk first and they would have, this guy would have received 50% more damage. Let me see if I can't get out of their attack range at the very least. Yes, I can. Nice. Since this is a battle, why don't we use some of these? Left click consume, reduce the cooldown of all bindings by two. Maybe I'll use that on my next turn. Grant one cost reduction to all bindings. I don't know if this is only for one turn or if it's for the whole combat. But either way, I'll use them both on my next turn. Uh, looks like he summoned some enemies. All right, we want to do this leaping strike. Um, let's actually, let's use these first. Okay, so that reduced the cooldown on on our stuff. So we could do, we'll do a leaping strike. And then we'll do a bonk. And then we'll do a smash. Because now they're going to take a lot of damage. Excellent. Um, their attack is going to take the entire field. So I may as well stand in front of them and like hit them as much as possible. Might even kill them at this point. No, not quite, but very close. Um, we can definitely kill them now. There we go. Easy, easy enough. Ascend a binding for free, maybe? Font of wisdom. For burn damage plus 25 crit damage, we'll go for the crit. Um, I'm not really uh, hard on the like magic damage except for a chain lightning, but I'm using the chain lightning almost as a utility rather than uh, for, for extra damage. Leap a long distance and deal 98 damage in a moderate area. Inflict four stacks of burn. So this, uh, I think, upgrades our leaping strike. Um, leap a long distance and deal 42 damage in a huge area. Gain one stack of heat for each enemy you hit is a bil ability power per stack. All stacks are removed when you take into action without damaging an enemy. Interesting. I'm not sure does a, if ability power also, like, if, if that's, we're, we're doing damage based on our ability power or our physical damage or both. I'm not sure. Um, I kind of like this inflicts burn. Deals 10 magic damage. We'll do this. We've upgraded our, our uh, Leaping Strike into Comet. And we're on to the Sea of Ink. Not sure what that means. I'm, I'm very curious about like what the, what the kind of end game is here. Restore 10 HP so we get some uh, health back. Binding Draft. We get a new ability maybe. Gain a buff which grants you 10 ability power. Remove one stack each time you use a Binding. Whenever you deal magic damage, gain a stack of dread. Deal damage equal to 10 times your stacks of dread. Well, the only magic damage we're going to be doing is based on our burn. Um, 
and we are going to be inflicting stacks of burn pretty often so that might be actually viable spawn a plant that grants one will to whoever picks it up whoever picks it up is an interesting way of phrasing that each turn the plant is on the ground it grows into in potency granting plus one additional will up to four turns interesting things that are happening right now i'll take this one the jinx and we get to pick a new thing so silent promenade steadfast ruins of the silent city of a runstone where uh still no one no whispers are heard Radiant Market again. Um, proving Grounds, the old training grounds for new binders. Now with extra danger. Okay, we gotta try the Silent Promenade. That sounds like it's gonna look really cool at the very least. Grab some quillings. So what does it say? Promenade sits empty as it has for ages the last remnants of the silent city. It's a quill is saying something. Superior vault potion cache or a quilling cage. We can might actually be able to afford the quilling cage at this point. So we could try that. Anything over here? Not really. Okay, new enemies. Perhaps new enemy tactics. Ooh, these guys look nasty. We have a, a jar again. Um, let's just fight the jar. What does this do? What are they doing? Treasure pot. Every 25% HP threshold will grant some loot. Defeating it will grant even more. We'll flee the arena after two turns. All right, we definitely want to do some damage then. It didn't seem to do any damage. Oh, I see. They have a lot of health. Um, did we put shattering on them? We did. Let's, uh, we could really go to town on this guy. I wonder if we could get away with our shock. Kind of could. I don't think it's really worth it, but we'll do it. Because that means we're, we're actually going to kill everything here. So we've got a third uh, lad here. Um, whenever you deal magic damage, gain a stack of dread. So this is an ability. I did not expect that. It's uh, This is weird. Oh, I see. Wait a minute. Deal damage to 10 times your stack of stacks of dread. So this is a ability we can kind of charge up over time. Strange things. Okay. And we can't move over there because there's a rock in the way. Just kind of want to hit this thing as much as possible. Uh, we've already shattered it. I want to I want to smash it. I don't think we're going to get to defeat it, unfortunately. So I have really... Um, Played played some uh, uh, a dangerous game here. Do we have how many stacks of dread do we have? How can we even find out? I don't think we have any because I don't think I did any magic damage. Okay, well we're just gonna try and uh, we're gonna kite these guys around a little bit. I guess we don't have to do that necessarily. What we can do is run through them like this. Uh, except they are changing. So that does seem like a reaction. We'll do a little bit of damage and then move out of the way. Okay, now we can do our comet and this will hopefully build up some stacks of, of burn. I want to do hit like as many things as possible here. So we can do some burn damage. We did a critical as well, which is nice. We should be able to kill both these lads. Uh, maybe actually just the one. Oh, this guy's stunned, so it doesn't matter. Just killing that one over there is good enough because uh, now we are, aren't are taking an extra hit. So are we racking up dread yet? Yeah, we have six stacks of dread, so we could potentially do... Yeah, we can do 66 damage. The devs uh, are very good about kind of doing the math for you and not making you uh, figure it all out yourself. 
Um, so, kind of want to just like kill this thing in front of me and then move out of the way. I'm just wondering if if I use smash here. No. Oh, I could do a bonk and then a smash and that should kill him. Yes, perfect. Now we just have the one lad to, to worry about, but that's okay. Um, we're gonna have to, we're gonna wanna build up some stacks of burn on them and we're already up to 80 damage now. What kind of damage can we expect here? 32, that's not a lot. Might be able to just like take him out with this move. Since it does more damage, like the more you do it, the after the, once you have, uh, afflict them with shattering, they, they take quite a lot of damage. Quilling cage, um, font of wisdom, more physical power, please. Heck yeah, bud. Oh, we have uh, an extra thing over here. No, it's just a. I don't know. I, I don't think it's anything, but it looked like something. We have a superior vault. Um, plus 20 crit damage inflict marked on the further furthest enemy at the start of each turn And then they take extra critical chance removed on hit <clears throat> When you take damage gain 10% dodge chance until you dodge an attack When you pick an up an orb stun the nearest enemy once per turn This seems really nice But it's also additional poison damage which doesn't seem like it super benefits us I kind of want to go for the crit. I don't normally go for crit, but they're really making it enticing in this game. Mostly because they've offered me a lot of crit um, items. Rift in the story creates an opportunity for you to make a powerful choice, gain a free binding upgrade, and a, the capability to ascend another. Let's do that. I've only upgraded my bonk, and that was pretty powerful. This is 400. We can actually afford this. So let's consider doing that for sure. We'll um, augment something. Inflict three sta uh, stacks of burn on Scorching Smash. That would be nice. Passive reduced cooldown by one. This would be really good because this would help us actually stack up um, uh, our, our burn stacks quicker. 10% plus 10 damage to each additional enemy it reaches. I actually think this quick leap is going to be great because that's extra mobility as well. What is this? Oh, some health. Okay, and um, mine, 34 da uh, 37 damage, spawn an orb, and a small amount of quillings when you mine an enemy twice. So this is just an extra added effect. Deal 11 damage, inflict 4 stacks of burn to enemies. Oh yes, we're going to go hard on that burn, and because um, that's doing magic damage. And I guess if they offer me those gauntlets again, I will. Uh, uncommon augment, quilling cage, superior vault superior vault let's do superior vault and potion cash since i have no potions now oh we want grab that music does uh remind me of a uh, monster train quite a bit um okay so we should be in a good position here I'm trying to figure out what we want to do here we want to I'm gonna move over here. That'll take one ability point. And what I'd like to do is hit this guy once. I don't think I have enough ability points actually. I wanted to hit him once with spark and then chain lightning and then smash. But I think it's it's too expensive. So we're just gonna do chain lightning and then um, smash. This does mean we are going to... No, actually, we can... We can. Oh, I could have done it, actually. Shoot. Okay, well, we'll just move out of the way instead. Actually, no, we couldn't have done it because I think the reason we had an extra ability point there is because I got a kill from that one passive. So we have some dread. Um, let's do our comet. And do some... Inflict some more stacks of burn. Wait a minute. Is this not doing shattering anymore? Oh, I see. 
I I didn't realize I was taking a trade off there. So I traded off physical damage for stacks of burn. Um, I, I don't know how I feel about that. That could really hurt us in the end. And I also used up all my ability points, so I'm going to take some damage here. So they took nine stacks. Um, we are gaining some dread, but I don't know if it's as much as I was hoping for. Sort of turn drip inky goop all over. Okay. So, so far we're doing 66 damage with this. It's not really enough. So I'm just going to hit this guy. He will, that will stun him. I'll just hit him three times and then uh, bail. And we are going to do some nice damage over time, but I think I definitely um, traded off nice instantaneous damage for a slow a slow burn no pun intended um we're up to 110 damage now which isn't enough to kill anything i definitely want to use this when i can kill something i should be able to run over here and i want to i'll take this power orb and i'll I, I can still inflict shattering so that's the good part and then i will um smash Actually, this seems like kind of a waste if I'm being real. So instead, I'll just do a comet and kill them that way. Um, it seems like the comet is now almost free. So let's see if we can't kill something else in the same turn. And then we'll do... Oh, if I do a spark, it will... Uh, I won't have enough... So what I could do, this is up to 200 damage now. So what I could do is a smash and, um, oh, I guess that was enough. Oops. Okay. Well, we're taking no damage on this. I am, my, my health is starting to look a little dire. Um, I should be able to do my chain lightning here. And this is a great opportunity for that because we can use our Jinx to basically kill both these lads. I guess it's an area of effect. Uh, well, we managed to stun both of them. I don't have a, I don't have the distance to get to them, unfortunately. Nice uh, little um, quality of life feature here. If you're using an attack, it lets it kind of stops you from moving, so you don't use that extra ability point. All right, let's just go ahead and finish them off. Superior Vault. When you pick up an orb, stun the nearest enemy. There, that's available again. Gain accurate at the start of combat. Your next attack is a guaranteed crit. Remove one stack on hit. That seems really nice. Um, and then there's this. 25% chance to gain one will whenever an enemy dies. Um, it seems to me like we are trying to gain will. I would love to take this, but I think that this will actually do more for our side quest. And we can increase our crit chance. Let's go ahead and do that. Gain a potion. Potion of power. I still don't know what that is, does because I, I traded it away uh, last time I got it. You're actually, uh, there's a little bit of an incentive to explore, but we only gained one health from that, so I don't know how much of an incentive that is. Ohm. A lost quill wanders the wastes of Runestone's Silent Promenade. Gain quillings and the opportunity to use keys for high quality vestiges. We still don't have any keys as far as I know. From within the ruins you sense ancient knowledge. Let's try that. I, I wouldn't mind seeing what that means. Uh, is it just a font of wisdom? That's not bad. Um, extra burn damage actually seems pretty good now, now that we're racking up stacks of burn. Is this something? No, it's not. I don't know if you have to actually, like, walk into those things to collect them. I kind of wish it would just, like, it would, it was just instantaneous. Uncommon augment potion cache. Uncommon augment, augment quilling cage. Well, let's grab another potion. Okay, we've got, this is like a beetle or something. Oh, and a cannon. Um, so let me see, can we do anything with our chain lightning right now? No, not really. 
Like we could kill this lad over there. Um, okay, let's do that. We'll do a spark. That appears to have stunned them, although it's maybe they need two stacks of stun before they can, yeah, progress towards stun. Stunned enemies won't attack. So they, this guy needs to be stunned twice before he's actually stunned. Interesting. We're going to spark them and then I kind of want to just like kill them. This guy, actually, this this is probably not going to kill him. Oh, this is not a beetle. This is like an underground worm or something. Um, I'm a little bit concerned, actually. I, I, I feel like I need to get out of this zone. I'm about to take attacks from basically three things. I, I kind of feel like moving out of the way would be a better idea for now. We did gain some dread there, which is nice. All I'll do is go over here and grab both of these. Um, I'm going to go ahead and inf inflict smash. Can I do it on both of these lads? I can't reach this guy. I have to like stand in the goop in order to do it. Okay, there we go. Um, it didn't inflict uh, the, the shatter on that lad, unfortunately. So things are getting a little bit more interesting here. Um, and it looks like I wasted that chain lightning as well, which sucks. Is this guy stunned? I don't think he is. We're up to 100 damage on our Jinx. Um, I kind of want to just hit him to in increase our burn and then run away. We're still going to be taking damage here. Who's doing a attack? Oh, I see. We're okay. We're in range there and I don't think there's any way we can get out of range. Uh, okay, that sucks. So we may as well stay next to him. Actually, um, depending on how we do this, we might be able to attack him again. Yeah, we can right here. Okay, that works. He's burrowed. So what does that mean? Take 75% reduced damage while submerged. Is that from burn as well? Maybe we can take this opportunity to do some damage to our cannon. Dodged, okay. Seems like they still take that, um, take the burn stacks though. Be nice if I could really hit them hard, but if I do that, then I'm going to be leaving myself very vulnerable. So what I'll do, I mean, I'm going to, I should be able to move out of the way. I'll hit them once more with a, a basic attack and then I'll, I'll walk out of the way. Really got to take like survivability into consideration. Now there's another cannon on the field. Things are going to get really spicy very soon. Um, we should be able to get away with our oh wow dodged again, huh? So now we can't we can't do our extra attack They're not stunned, but they are we are increasing our um, Burn stacks we're up to 252 damage on our jinx. I do appreciate like oh, I haven't really used the jinx but having it as a backup like Attack like that. It seems like it, it could you know be really nice um i'm wondering is this in an area yes it is we could potentially kill both these lads over here yeah um let's do that i really want to kill both these lads dodge are you kidding me you dodged the jinx and this guy took like none of it my god, okay. Um, well, that's a problem. So let's just try and hit them. They are shattered. Um, really? Wow, okay. That is getting us nowhere. I have to get out of here. I'm going to grab this power orb and just walk out of the way.
I think what I want to do here is um, try and chain lightning as much as possible. Hmm. This is not going well. How much health does this guy have? He's at like full health. Okay, let's chain lightning something here. And then if I can inflict shattering, I'm hoping that the damage dealt will transfer to him without the possibility for dodge. But I won't lie, um, it's this is, this is not going to go well, probably. I'm going to grab that power orb. And uh, I have to do the shatter. Actually, if I do that, then it gets rid of that chain. I think uh, I think I'm dead. I mean, that's not nothing, but we're getting to. We're getting pretty desperate. Um. Is there anywhere I can stand that is safe? <laughs> Actually, yes. Okay. Um. Yeah, I mean. Oh, God. That is miserable. What are we at? 144? I'm not sure what these circles are. Like, what? what is it inflicting that? It looks like a bunch of things are just happening right now. Oh god. No, we died. Oh no. <laughs> Defeated. Your journey ended in silent promenade. New tasks available. Start an unranked dive. Start a ranked dive. Complete a daily task. So we have daily tasks. We have Okay, so they're going for like almost like crowdsourcing replayability in this game, which is an interesting idea. It's not really an MMO um, because it's not massively played, um, but like you can treat it like one where there are like, there's a reason to open it up every day. Um, you get some cosmetics. It's a very strange way of doing this, but I haven't, uh, I haven't seen it done before. And, and therefore I, I think it, it could be really interesting. Like I say, I, I trust these devs. They, they know what they're doing and uh, I don't I don't foresee uh, I, like I don't foresee this being used to as a as an extra form of monetization, um, something that a lot of games are doing these days, or at least indie games are uh, kind of using these models of of I would I would call it FOMO, not as a means to, um, you know, pull in more money or funds. But as a means to um, you know, make you want to play the game every day, um, and you know the concurrent player numbers is actually more beneficial to them in some ways than if they like tried to sell you a hat. Um, an interesting idea, and if you know they had a lot of people or players working together and uh, you know playing the game towards some kind of uh, interesting end, you know it could be really cool. Um, I could definitely see a lot of value there. But uh, it really depends on if they can land the execution on that. But either way, um, this has been Inkbound and I am really liking it. I think this will probably be a day one purchase for me um, based on the strength of Monster Train alone. But I also am really enjoying what I'm seeing already. The gameplay is pretty cool. I like the combos. I like the the, the look and animations of it is stellar. And uh, yeah, I actually think it's a very original world that they've built. Um, which is hard to come by these days. Um, what do you think of Inkbound? Um, maybe you can consider uh, trying the test while it's available for the next couple of days. Um, but uh, even based on what you've seen today, let me know in the comments. And uh, if you enjoyed this video, definitely hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this. And I will see you guys next time. Take it easy.